natural gas discoveries of Naimath West and Satyari Fields in the Khipru block of MKK concession in Sanghar district ushered in a renewed faith in gas development for UEP in this region, enabling the company to contribute to the country's energy sector. Despite the fact that Naimath West and Satyari gas discoveries provided a breakthrough to UEP in 2012, higher CO2 content in natural gas prevented gas recovery by sweetening due to limitations of capacity in the existing mine plant at Naimath Basal facility. This created the need for a process plant and project Naimath Phase 4 was hence initiated. Not only was the need for Naimath Phase 4 plant crucial, so was the time which was limited and this demanded supreme efforts to release this project in record time. Prefabricated dehydration plant of 100 mm SCFD and two trains of amine plants with a size of 400 GPM each were handpicked to deliver the required production to be installed north of Namath and adjacent to TAP, the relocated Turk amine plant or Phase 3. With the increased work set and fast paced development, Continuing the trend of delivering high-value targets became a challenging prospect with Namath Phase 4. The project was an astonishing feat achieved by this company and we hope to continue and perform in such fashion in the future. The main drive for this previously built plant was a tough timeline of six months starting from the conceptual design of the project in October 2013 to first gas sales made on 2nd April 2014. A jam-packed period of activity ensued in those six months from appraising of the project, selection of the right equipment and detailed engineering, to procurement of material and finally execution and construction. Targeting gas sales within 45 days of construction activities appeared to be an insurmountable task. On finalizing the conceptual design, teams of LMS identified land as per engineering needs and negotiations for acquiring set the pace of project. It is my goal to deliver world-class projects and UEP has provided me with ample opportunities to test and enhance my skills. Land clearance for 22 acres of land was completed in remarkable time. Competent local civil contractors were identified to bid for landfill and compaction work, after which the first load of earth filling commenced within two weeks of land negotiations. Meanwhile, a group of engineers flew to Houston the hub of upstream petroleum technology to locate the right equipment for this project. Ten days of rigorous pursuit resulted in the selection of a new prefabricated plant manufactured by Valerius Compression Services, followed by the finalization of supply and initiation of procurement process by the UEP supply chain team. Civil engineers came up with the innovative ideas to design precast foundation and sleepers for gigantic equipment skids for hot oil heater, steel columns, a mine circulation pumps, generators and MCC. Financial acumen to open LCs and payment in millions of dollars from cash flow in a short span of time spoke volumes about finance leadership understanding the dire need of the project. After procurement and refurbishment, Transportation of equipment from within the U.S. to their port and shipping to Karachi port was another time-critical activity. Shipped from U.S. on 31st December 2013, a very busy time of the year, the shipment was completed within 40 days and 44 colossal containers arrived in Karachi port on the 2nd of February 2014 in a chartered vessel. A mammoth batch of 800 barrels of a mine, SS trays of contractor towers, MCC and PLC equipment were dispatched in the next consignment and various air shipments were needed to deliver all the required material. Customs and port clearance, which was regularly a month-long procedure, was done smoothly with no glitches in merely a single day by the extraordinary efforts of the UEP's team of supply chain and logistics. Road transportation from Karachi port to Phase 4 location by 39 flatbed trailers over highways, narrow tracks and bypassing roadside dwellings was another challenge in supervision of journey management and security teams. Offloading and erection of mammoth vessels and skids on foundation was itself a major feat, where at peak times 10 heavy cranes were operating simultaneously. 
the lifting team had to perform round the clock developing lifting procedures and executing the heavy lifts in daylight. Piping and spool fabrication began while the plant and equipment was sailing through Atlantic, Suez Canal and Arabian Sea for final destination at Karachi port. Radiography and post-weld heat treatment was performed subsequent to piping works. Project Phase 4 has helped Nemeth consolidate its status as a gas complex and the quantum of efforts from production, reliability and maintenance has been absolutely remarkable. Arrangement of a mine, glycol and oil of hot oil heater for new plant was made efficiently with support and intervention of leadership team. To motivate and ensure support at all times, the senior management made numerous visits to Phase 4 construction site. Safety audits and observations conducted by individuals and leadership team always kept the workforce, which was peaked over a thousand in number, charged and active. Uh, construction is creativity, it's always challenging and I take it as fun. Tie-ins of Phase 4 with National Pipeline Network and upgrading to Nipod Spur Line were completed in parallel to Phase 4 construction activities. Separate utilities like power generation, instrument air and clean water plant formed an integral part of the phase for MI sweetening units. These were installed with shades and shelters during mechanical construction and fabrication of MI phase 4. Commissioning team consisting of high performance individuals from diverse departments as production, instrumentation and electrical, road tree, construction, project, warehouse and contractors developed practice and implemented pre-commissioning, commissioning and post-commissioning procedures, protocols and activities. Management, coordination and SIMOPS for a total of eight contractors asked that immense challenges should be tackled with substantial determination. Internal cleaning of equipment with soda ash cold circulation commenced in mid of March with mechanical completion on 20th of March 2014. Charging of a mine glycol and oil after cleaning was the first big pre-commissioning activity after internal washing. Ignition of hot oil burners was only possible once all INE checks were successful and cleared the test. I think the big projects are always uh, a welcome challenge and with the SKUS timeline at phase 4 it was more enthusiastic. Meanwhile, Cold circulation of a mine solution started with motor-driven reader pump of train 2. With the go-ahead from INE team, the hot oil burner was ignited after final testing on 26th of March 2014. The final commissioning of train 2 on 2nd April 2014 wrapped up the project with pervading feelings of relief and pride written on the faces of all those who were involved, thus writing history for the company and providing an example for years to come. Nemeth Phase 4 with such a challenging timeline is a lifetime achievement for me. I feel proud to be project manager of this great project.